Hi, I'm Howie Mandel, and if there's one thing I'm known for, it's traveling around trying to make people laugh. But if there's a second thing I'm really known for, it's trying to stay as clean as possible while I do that. That's why I'm visiting places we all go all the time with my buddy Gavin. He's a cleaning expert from ISSA, and we will discover what's clean, what needs to be cleaned, and how we clean it. Hotel rooms, a place you can call your own that you happen to share with hundreds of strangers. So how do hotels keep their rooms pristine night after night, guest after guest? Well, I'm here with Gavin, Senior Director at ISSA, to find out. Let's find out, Gavin. You ready to go? Let's go. This way, this way. <laughs> oh, my God, you just, you just wandered into my world. You know, I stay more nights in hotel rooms than I do in my own room at home because I'm traveling as a comedian. And I got, I just, it's just so, oh, oh, the bed, the bed. I mean, you think about this. Every night, a strange person comes here and drools. Do you not drool in your sleep? I'm a drooler. I'm a drooler. I would imagine everybody's a drooler. Well, like, they use like, an industrial washing machine, just like a washing machine at home, but it's, it's a bigger one, and it actually works. It makes things clean. Well, uh, how do we know? Howie, I'm going to use this UV light. Some things fluoresce, some, some don't, but it's going to give us an indication of how clean it is. No fluoresce, no fluoresce, no fluoresce. Here we go. That looks clean, right? Right? Nothing is popping out. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Here, look at the, get the right up here. Because sometimes what I'll do is I sleep in the fetal position. There might be drool in this area. This bed would appear clean. Oh my God, I feel every muscle in my body relaxing. I would like to watch TV, and you know I never watch TV? No? No, I won't touch that. In my mind, there's somebody who's doing their nails in the room, and then they're, t they're touching that with their feet to watch whatever they want to watch. I don't want, I don't want to touch somebody else's foot. I'm right, right? That's dirty. Let's Test have, it. Let's have a look, Howie. I don't even want to look. I just want to know. So what you're doing, you're just swabbing it. You're going to swab it. And it goes into the ATP meter. Which looks for organic material. Looks for organic material. Includes dirt and germs. Okay, and... It's dirty, Hal. I knew it! I have been right all along. Well, we can clean it, Hal. We've got science, we've got technology, we've got microfiber. It has electrostatic properties, which just actually helps us you realize remove that? the dirt, remove the germs. And by spraying with a cleaner, you can be even more effective. I love you, Gavin. You put me at ease. Oh, I'm gonna dream about microfiber. Sweet dreams, Howie. Thank you, Gavin. Ooh, I don't like this place, Gavin. I'm afraid, very afraid. This is a place where naked, filthy bodies come to... Get clean. And splash, and spread, and touch. But we have systems, Howie, to clean the air, systems to get rid of the dirty water, and showers are designed to be cleaned. OK, is this one clean? Want to check it out? Not really, but go ahead, Gavin. That's what you do. Well, I have this trowel here that has the microfiber, which helps us with the electrostatic properties to get it clean, but it also has that UV light that we talked about. That's a twofer. Yeah. All right. And it's hands-free. Remember, we don't like to touch things. We love hands-free. So what would you like me to look at, Howie? Uh, let's look at the bench. Does the bench look clean? To me, it looks clean. Do you see clean. anything on it? How about you, Howie? Oh, there's something there. There's there something is. there. Something fluorescing. So what is that? It doesn't matter what it is, but it can be cleaned and removed. And spraying with cleaner and disinfectant will make the shower safer and cleaner. Look at that. And now it's press the light. Ta-da. Ta-da. We have a clean shower. Rub-a-dub-dub. <laughs> just, you know what? Let's have just one man in the tub. Well, now that we know how to tell if a hotel shower is clean, I'm going to head up and shower, too. Hey, Gavin, is it OK if I use this as a loofah? <laughs> <laughs> if you want to find places and businesses that rethink what clean means, look for the Rethink Clean logo. If you want to learn more about cleaning to the highest standards, visit RethinkClean.org. And be sure to join me and Gavin on our next adventure as we continue to uncover how we clean it.